Hi, and welcome to this instructional video on Tableau Analytics Pane's Custom Tab. Today we're going to walk you through how to use the Custom Tab to create a bar chart and table at an average line and customize it to your liking. For this video, we are going to use two data tables, employee data and Q12 data. First, what we're going to do is we're going to take this manager's name pill, we're going to move this over to the column cell. Next, we're going to take the employee satisfaction pill and move it over to the row cell. If you don't like the appearance of, of your data, what you can do is go over to this button, the swap rows and columns button, which is right above your columns cell, and you can click it once. And you might get a view that you might appreciate better. Now for the accuracy of this data, we're going to change it from a sum to an average. And to do this, you hit the drop down menu, you, hezero, you hover over measure, and you hit average. Next, we're going to add an average line. Now to do this, you're going to go over to the at analytics pane, which is on the left side of your screen. You're going to click it once, and you're just going to click average line. As you can see, an average line has appeared in our data. Right now, the average reads 4.195. To modify this line, what we're going to do is we're going to double click this line and we have this format button. When you have when you hit format, you have options to customize the line to your liking. Right now, I don't like the color that the line is, so I'm going to change it to a reddish color and I'm going to make the line a little thicker. I'm also going to increase the opacity of the line and change this to 75% to make this line more visible. Now when I hit enter, you can see the changes that have been done to this line. Additionally, if I want to, I can format this line and I can hit this fill above option. Now what this will do is it highlights everything above this line in black. If I hit the fill below button, if I did the same customization for the fill below, it would do the same thing except everything below the average line. If I don't want to keep this setting, what I can do is I can go over to the top left of the screen and hit the undo button. Now, for this next part, I'm going to show you how to add a grand total to your data. We're going to use the same data, but in a slightly different visualization, and I already have the sheet pre-made. So this is our new sheet. It's the same exact data as before. There's some slight modifications. Instead of a bar chart, I have squares going across the screen. Now to add the grand total, all you need to do is go up to analysis at the top of the screen. Once you click it, it gives you a drop down menu and you can go over to this total section. And for the way that our data is presented, we're going to go show column grand totals. Now if I scroll down to the bottom of my screen, you can see grand total right here, and it has a data point. Right now it says that the average employee satisfaction grand total is 4.149. 4 Finally, I'm going to show you how to add a reference line. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the analytics tab over by your data. And at the middle of the screen, you have this reference line button. You hit this twice and a reference line pops up. This is going to be similar to your average line, but it's going to give you more options. For example, if I don't want to use a line, I can also use a distribution. I can change the value of this distribution. I can do a band. I can do a box plot. It opens up the amount of options that you can use for your data. For my data, I'm going to stick with the line, but instead of using an average, I'm going to use a median. Additionally, similar to the average line, you can also customize the color and the size of the line. So instead of using the reddish color that I used last time, I'm going to do a purple color. I'm also going to increase the thickness of my line, and this time if I want, I'm going to make it dotted. As you can see here, we have a reference line on screen. This is our median, and it gives us the value for the median. 
I think that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it helpful. And don't forget to check back to the Vandal Analytics for more Tableau tutorials. Thank you.